hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to solve the or question under question number 19 this is part of CBSC sample paper 2024 for accountancy the link to the paper is in the description box below you can check that out and if you haven't checked the videos for the previous solutions do check them out as well the link is in the description box below if you want to get notified whenever a new video is shared hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the bell icon all right, without further ado, let's get started. Here we have Lily Limited forfeited 100 shares of rupees 10 each. This is a forfeiture sum which were issued at 10% premium and rupees 8 is called up on which a shareholder did not pay rupees 3 on allotment including premium and the first call of rupees 2. These were not paid. Out of these, 60 shares were reissued to Ram as fully paid for rupees 8 per share and 20 shares to Suraj as fully paid at rupees 12 per share at different intervals of time. We are required to prepare share for feature account. Generally, we prepare we have prepared the journal entries. However, this time straight away we have to prepare this ledger account for share for feature. All right. So we'll break this down and make it easy for you to understand how to go about it. So the first thing, 100 shares are forfeited at of rupees 10 each, which were issued at 10% premium, and rupees 8 are called up, right? So this is the point to be noted that only 8 is called up. That means the entire calculation will be on 8. Rupees 2, the call has not been made yet. So we have to check out of rupees 8 how much has been received. That because that is the amount that gets forfeited. Okay, he did not pay rupees 3 on allotment, which includes premium of 1 rupee. 10% of 10 is 1. So, 2 rupees on allotment and 2 rupees on first call. This we haven't received, right? So, total 4 rupees we haven't received. That means out of 8, 4 rupees we have received already, right? And that is credited to share for future account, right? So, that comes to buy share capital account so for your understanding this is 400 4 into 100 okay 400 rupees let's move on so the forfeiture entry is done okay the one rupee premium which has not been received that goes to calls in arrear okay that doesn't come into share for feature out of these 60 shares were reissued to ram as fully paid now again fully paid to be noted here for rupees 8 per share very important because this will make the changes so we are issuing 60 shares to ram at rupees 8 which is fully paid this means we are giving a discount of 2 rupees per share if they hadn't mentioned fully paid, then this would have been 8 rupees called up, issued at 8, so no, so no discount is there. However, when they have mentioned fully paid, that means these are shares of rupees 10 each, which are being reissued at rupees 8 per share. That means we are giving a discount of 2 rupees per share, and that goes to, that is debited to share for future account and created to share capital account. So here we have to share capital account okay so for your understanding 60 into 2 rupees per share we are giving a discount it comes to 120 all right so now sticking to this understanding how much then goes to capital reserve out of this lot now we have issued 60 shares at rupees 8 so we have made a discount given a discount of 2 rupees there's a forfeiture that we had done that was 4 rupees per share right out of that for this lot we have given a discount of 2 rupees per share so the profit per share that company has made is 2 4 minus 2 right so on 60 shares what's the profit the company has made because that's the amount that goes to capital reserve so 2 capital reserve account so we are transferring the remaining two rupees which the company has made a profit of that goes to capital reserve right clear let's move on to the next lot which were issued to suraj 
these were issued to suraj as fully paid again fully paid at rupees 12 per share so here the company is making a profit a premium of rupees 2 per share again premium doesn't come into share for feature here in this case this is a premium on reissue so in this case there is no discount on reissue of shares so nothing gets debited for that however so in that case now we have to understand how much goes to capital reserve the 4 rupees per share that were forfeited that is a profit since there is no discount nothing gets subtracted the entire 4 rupees per share on these 20 shares goes to capital reserve so we write 2 capital reserve and that will be 20 into 4 so the entire 80 rupees goes to capital reserve for against these 20 shares and whatever is remaining in the for share forfeiture account that's the balance because all the shares are not reissued yet 60 plus 20 only 80 shares are reissued 20 are still remaining for that we have a balance in the share forfeiture account to balance cd so that's 80 rupees which is remaining so this completes our share for feature account. You have to keep your concept very clear so that you can straight away do the ledger accounts and don't have to do the journals. That will save time because this is just a three mark sum. You cannot do the journal and then do the ledger account. Otherwise, you will lose a lot of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Do share this video with your friends. Who do you think can be get benefited out of it? We'll catch you all in the next video with the next set of questions. Stay tuned.